Hey guys, here Marta Gig. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 versus the LG G4. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 was a, has been available in the market since October 2014, so it's been around eight months, something like that. Um, the LG G4 will be available very, very, very soon in June 2015. Almost every single US carrier is going to get this phone. Um, I'm going to be comparing the specs, the features, and all that, and my final thoughts about both devices. So let's go ahead and get started okay so first of all let's go ahead and show you guys the external features of both devices like for example the galaxy note 4 has the 16 megapixel camera right there and like you can see closely um the camera actually portrays a little bit it sticks out a little bit the lg g4 doesn't really stick out that much because the the curve of this phone actually helps out with the bump of the camera um over here it has a single led and it also has a sensor which the sensor we use it to um, measure our blood pressure and it does a very good job doing that as well um, over here like you see it has a laser focus uh, this is of course a 16 megapixel camera as well it has a um, led flash as well and over here in the rear we have the buttons of this phone here in the top you got volume up volume down and in the center is the is the power or home button would you also turn on and off the, the phone using this button right here um here we have a speaker on the lg g4 here in the rear and you also have a speaker over here which is very very tiny the lg g4 believe me guys it sounds a lot better so now let's talk about the display of these two devices the samsung galaxy note 4 has a super amoled 5.7 inch screen with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and 515 pixel per inch while the LG G4 has the IPS Quantum Display LCD at 5.5 inch screen with a resolution at 2560 by 1440 just like the Galaxy Note 4. Uh, pixel, uh, pixel per inch of course is 538 because of the size of the screen difference. Um, both screens look beautiful. The LCD screen here on the LG 4 I'm very very surprised how good it looks. Yeah, the colors looks very very vibrant the blacks look very deep and it does a very good job against the old super amoled screen of the galaxy note 4 when it comes to the cpu these two devices are very very good as well the snap uh, the galaxy note 4 has a snapdragon 805 quad core clocked at 2.7 gigahertz very good with benchmarks and gameplay as well um here on the lg g4 has the snapdragon 808 um hexa core at 1.8 8 gigahertz but if i'm not mistaken i think there's two uh two of those cores that run at 1.4 gigahertz that's what i've read but it does it is a quad core when you consider it's a quad core 1.8 gigahertz and two more cores at 1.4 gigahertz now these two devices have third 32 gigabytes of internal memory and they both have three gigabytes of ram now the great thing about these two devices is, is that you can actually remove the rear covers and have full access to the batteries and also to the micro SD cards as well. Um, here on the Galaxy Note 4, you can actually put up to 128 gigabyte card if you want. And here on the LG G4, you can put up to a two terabyte card, which I don't think it even exists right now. Um, this one over here has a battery of 3000 milliamp per hour battery. Um, the Galaxy Note 4 has a 3,220 milliamp per hour battery. A little bit better, not that so much. Now let's talk about the camera of these two devices. The Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has a 16 megapixel rear facing camera. It has an 8 megapixel front facing camera. And it also records video at 4K, 2K, which is 2560 by 1440, uh, 4K, which is Ultra HD 3840 by 2160. It also records 1080p at 60 frames per second, 1080p at normal frames per second. I think it's like 30 frames per section, second or 24. Um, it also, of course, records a 720p. Uh, the front facing camera records at uh, 2K, which is awesome, 2560 by 1440, 1080p, 720p. And it also has a three megapixel camera and it works very very good on the 
LG G4 has, of course, a 16 megapixel rear facing camera with laser focus, which works very good, focuses very, very fast on, on objects that you take picture of. Single LED flash right there. It also has a eight megapixel front facing camera. Uh, which also works the gesture shot, which is very awesome. You pull, put up your palm, close your palm, and it take it does a countdown, and it takes a screenshot. It takes a picture of you. It also does something very good, which is the flash right here for the front-facing camera. Uh, it's not really a flash, but what it does, it brights up everything up. So if you're in a low light, this is going to help you um, um, look a lot better uh, with the photo as well it also does records at 1080p it records at 4k it does not record at 2k like the galaxy note 4 but it records also at 720p um great thing about this phone also which is some big deal for a lot of people that are photographic uh enthusiasts it has the manual mode as well which uh, you could control here manually white balance money and focus iso shutter speed um I think this is something else I can't remember what is it but there's, there's a lot of options for people that love taking pictures at their own uh, um, specs or situations um, right here has the raw option as well it takes images at raw so those images are going to be very 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 big files and that means that the phone is not actually processing the photo it's taking the image and it's giving you the image raw so in the computer you could go ahead and apply everything that you want to it and not lose any quality whatsoever so that is also for people that are very very photo enthusiasts but here you can actually put it in automatic mode or you could put it in, in in simple mode which all you have to do is tap right there and it takes an image very very perfectly both phones have only one speaker and it's in the rear right here this one has it here and this one has it here but there's a big difference between these two devices and it's that the lg g4 has has way better sound it's a lot more louder and it also has an EQ where you can also um, change the sound of it as well make it sound as good as you want and of course since the beef both phones sit flat you know this one sits flat the when you listen to the sound like this the sound is gonna sound muffled when you lift it up it's gonna sound a lot better and over here um, doesn't matter if you have it like this or like this it's always gonna sound great because since it has a curved back so it's, go it's not gonna really affect the sound at all if not it's gonna even make it better because it, it does create a, a, a separate a little distance between the phone and the ground and it creates like a little bit more bass as well. So now I'm going to show you guys a demo on these two devices when it comes to the sound. Other features that separate these phones from each other is like for example starting with the LG G4 you can actually get this phone in leather in real real leather and they look very awesome and the leather is comes in different colors there's like a brown like a reddish leather there's like a blue light blue leather there's like a white leather and there's like a black leather as well it also comes in ceramic white I think it also comes in black and this right here is the metallic gray um, it also has um, of course the slightly curved here on the screen which is barely noticeable which that's thanks thanks god for that because i don't really like the 
the LG Flex. It's too curved for me, for my liking. Um, and it doesn't really affect how do you watch the videos at all. It looks very good. And it, what it really helps is in the handling, I would say. It feels a lot better in the hand with that curve. It feels a lot more better in your hand. It also feels better in your pockets as well. Another thing about this phone is that it's getting fast charging. It does not have fast charging out of the box right now at the moment of this video. But LG said that there's going to be an update later on in the future where you're going to be able to fast charge your phone. That's very, very good. Um, over here, of course, on the Galaxy Note 4, we have... Um, of course, an a phone with amazing camera, powerful device when it comes to spec wise. Um, the multitasking has awesome multitasking. Both phones have multitasking, but honestly, the multitasking here on the Galaxy Note 4 is way better. Um, also has a feature which um, other phones haven't been able to touch, and it's the S Pen feature. Uh, the S Pen feature is very, very convenient, especially if you uh, if you have a job where you can, you write a lot, um, this phone will be like a must-have um, this phone has been for me a must-have you know you can save your files right here these are all the notes that I take and you have this is a per awesome perfect um, widget right here which is very convenient now with my final thoughts about these two phones uh, if you ask me which one do I prefer right now it's the Galaxy Note 4 and the simple fact that it has the S Pen um, it's me because I use the S Pen a lot I use it a lot and sometimes using just this phone and I want to go to the S Pen, I actually miss this phone a lot. Um, both phones are very, very great, but when it comes to what phones feel better in my hand? I gotta say the Gal the G4 feels a lot better in my hand. I like the slight curve. I like that it feels a lot more thinner. The screen size, 5.5 inch screen. I think for me, it, it's a perfect size for a smartphone. This is 5.7, a little bit over the, the size I prefer. The 5.5 for me is the sweet spot. And if you ask me, if you're asking me which one should you buy, uh, between these two phones, honestly, if you are not going to use the S Pen at all, if you know you do not want the S Pen, you know you're not going to use it at all, right now, I actually uh, recommend you to get the LG G4 over the Galaxy Note 4 because of the quality of the camera is amazing. It has the raw images. It has the manual mode. It's going to let you take a lot more better pictures. It feels a lot more slimmer in the hand, uh, power wise it feels very very good very fluid and um it, the screen looks beautiful even though it's a quantum lcd screen it still looks as good as the a super amoled screen that's on the galaxy note 4 another thing that i like is that this phone out of the box comes with 5.1 and this one comes with uh right now it has 5.0.1 and since the update i've been having problems with the battery on the galaxy note 4 and it gets hot sometimes and also sometimes it's it's lagging when it's opening apps and closing apps and playing some games i've been having problem with the lollipop update here uh, this one out of the box comes with 5.1 and it's very very smooth i like the way it feels the phone and also i like the way the user interface here as well works like the the dark um notification area looks very good you could customize everything here in your notification very very down to the a barely minimal you can make this look as minimal as possible it feels very good in the hand and i gotta say it's gonna be you're gonna have a great camera a great phone for a couple years to come if you want to wait for the galaxy note 5 coming up in the future which i don't know still how is it gonna be if it's gonna be like the galaxy s6 which is not gonna have removable battery it's not gonna have um, external micro sd cards if that's the case, wow, that's going to be a very, 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 very letdown for me. So honestly, right now, at the moment of this video, I recommend if you do not need the S Pen whatsoever, you know you're not going to use it, go ahead and get the LG G4. If, you're, if you do like the S Pen feature, get the Galaxy Note 4. That's it. Or wait for the Galaxy Note 5. So guys, that's it. That's uh, my thoughts about this video. That's my video comparison between these two devices. Let me know what you guys think about it. What you guys think about my thoughts about this phone, both phones. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.